All right, so we're going to take a close look at the Kaiko controller adapter for Nintendo Switch. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I wanted to take a closer look at the Kaiko controller adapter for your Nintendo Switch. So basically what this does is that you can use your Xbox or PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 controller on your Nintendo Switch. So if you just need to use an extra controller or you're just a big fan of your PlayStation controller and want to use it on the Switch, with this Kaiko adapter, they say it is possible. So that's what we're going to try out and we're going to have... Ooh, that's pretty naughty. PlayStation control on the Nintendo Switch. Ooh, that is really cursing. If we need the packaging itself, it says that there's no input lag whatsoever. So I'm very curious about it. And also I'm going to try the Xbox 360 controller just for fun to see uh, what happens. And also I have some Hori controllers from PlayStation 3 with a USB connection and just see how does it work on this adapter. Or is this only compatible with original controllers? Okay, so what I wanted to try out for this video we're going to try out the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 controllers and I'm also going to try out the Xbox 360 controller that is not in the manual but just wanted to see for this video if this is going to work and what can we do with this dongle. I think it's pretty a genius idea so let's take a close look inside and what are we going to get. Alright so inside the package let's take a close look at it. Okay we're having the manual itself and the first thing I notice you need a magnifying glass because wow these letters are super tiny. And here we have the bottom mapping, so that is very important. Uh, just take a close look at the manual because if you want to have the button mapping correctly, and so you know which what button does what. Nevertheless, this is the dongle is not very special, and just plug it in, and we're going to see if it's going to work with the controllers. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is of course connect your controller. But before you can do this, you need to go to the configuration. Go to the settings because the, here you can only find the except pro controller settings. And with the settings we can say, okay, enable that you can use alternative controls. And if you don't do this, there is no way you're going to get this to work. Go all the way to controllers and sensors. Go to pro controller wired communication, turn it on if it's on off position and when you do this it has the option to use the adapter and other controllers okay so the next part we're going to connect your controller you have put the pro controller wired communication on so the next thing you're going to need to do is put the dongle into your nintendo switch docking station if everything goes like it should be it's going to blink red if it's going to be connected it's going to give you a green led but if you want to connect, you can do it with two different ways. So what you're going to do is press this button if you want to connect it with the wireless method. Then you're going to get your controller. You're going to get this thing on search. And it's something a little bit of a hassle, but everything works. Then it will blink anymore and it will give you the green L idea and will connect the controller. But as you can see, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work always that great, that, that good to be honest. Just grab yourself a cable. Yep, an old school USB cable. So what you're going to do is connect it over here in the controller. And over here in the USB connection. And in this way you can connect it. And as you can see over here, the LED starts blinking. Just the, the play 1 or play 2, play 3, depends of course which player it is. And the green LED goes on over here. And this is what you're going to get. Okay, so this is basically how you connect your controller. So let's go on with the show and let's do this testing together with some different controllers and see if we can get this thing to work. Okay, so let's plug it in and let's plug it in the side of the docking station. All right. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but as you can see the LED start blinking, so it's ready to go. Let's hook up the first controller. We're going to start with the PlayStation 3 versions. We're going to need a controller cable or a USB cable. Uh, my battery is dead by the way, so it's not even going to work. That is what I hate about these freaking batteries. All right, so let's plug it in. Let's power on the switch itself. And let's see if I can connect it. I'm going to see it on the LEDs. All right. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it seems to be working and the controller has been recognized. Okay, so as you can see that it works. I don't notice any input lag indeed. We'll play a game soon. But the next thing we're going to try is the Hori controller. Let's plug it in and let's see if it's going to get recognized by the Kaiko. All right, so next up, of course, my switch goes in sleep mode. Freaking annoying. So let's grab the cable. Oh man, there's a cable on here. 
Let's plug it in. Let's plug in the Hori controller. Let's see if this is going to get recognized. Okay, uh, the LED starts start being in the green color. But it's not connected with the old controller anymore. Let's see if we can use a previous model. See, it doesn't get recognized anymore. So this one is not connected. Just to be sure about it. And as you can see, nothing works. So. Okay, so there was another thing. The Xbox 360 was not on the compatible list. And it seems to be that I can get it to work or somehow. It's kind of weird. Um, as you can see over here that it is not working like it should be. As you can see, the input is completely messed up. Getting a double input. So even if it's going to get recognized Xbox 360 controller, it's not supported indeed. All right, so next up is the PlayStation 4 controller. And I can already tell you, it is not working perfectly. I tried the controller to hook it up and after trying to connect it with the wireless function I managed to establish a connection. As you can see over here it is green, the LED and I have finally configured it. So as you can see over here works or it should be working but I tried to try to get into the menu. The PlayStation 3 controller works fine, plug and play very pleased about it, but with the PlayStation 4, I don't know what it is. Maybe I need a firmware update whatsoever. Okay, so with the fake one, it doesn't do anything. Oh, I need to take, <laughs> you really need to take consideration. This is the version that was not built in with an, an, an wireless receiver. Just can use it with the cable. The controller seems to be working on a Pandora box whatsoever. But it seems to be that we cannot power it on. There's not doing anything when it comes to this device. Okay, we're also going to use the wireless function. Just to see how is the input lag. Okay, that seems to be working fine. Okay, let's go. Okay, the E, the A is indeed on this position, like the original controller, so that's great. Joystick seems to be working. Indeed, there is no input lag whatsoever. Okay, let's try the joystick. Okay, so I can say that with the PlayStation 3 controller, it seems to be working on the wired and the wireless the options, but it plays very nice. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to get with the Kaiko controller adapter yeah so the idea behind it i can completely understand why they're going to want to release something like this if you're just a big fan of your controller of your place you have one laying around because you don't use the system anymore and you want to use on the switch yeah it's a great way and the idea is just pretty good but when you're looking at this video and yeah i just wanted to do not a lot of cutting just want to show you what was the hassle getting this thing to work Sometimes it was just click syncing and connecting, but sometimes it didn't want to connect at all. And the most weird part with mine was that my PlayStation 4 controller, it did connect, but I couldn't navigate. That was some really weird shit going on. So I don't know what it is. Maybe you need to update it, but I just want to pull it out of the box and just test it out with you guys together just to see what we're going to get. Maybe the newer version will be slightly better, but also I couldn't get my fake PlayStation 4 controller to work my Xbox 60 but yeah, it was not on the compatible list, of course. But I was thinking, hey, maybe you can use some different controllers than these two. Yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of this. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video. And let me know in the comments what do you think of this dongle.